بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين Peace be upon you our dear viewers and welcome to new episode of Shia Calendar with me Ali Maash We send our warm congratulations to the Imam of our time Al-Mahdi al muntadar may Allah hasten his reappearance and to the whole Islamic world on this happy occasion on the 4th of Shaban which is the birth of Abu Fadl al-Abbas peace be upon him Today marks the fourth of the holy month of Shaban. On this holy day, the quencher of thirst, the flag bearer of Imam Hussein's peace be upon him, was born. His name is Al Abbas Abu Al Fadl. His father is the commander of the faithful Imam Ali, peace be upon him. His mother is Fatima bint Huzam Al Kilabi, who is known as Umm Al Banin, peace be upon her. He is the brother of Imam Hussein and Imam Al Hassan, peace be upon them. He has various epithets that he is known by, such as the moon of Bani Hashim, Gumar Bani Hashim, the door of invocation, Bab al-Hawa'ij, the quencher of thirst, As-Saqi, the guardian of Zainab, Kafilu Zainab, the courageous one on the bridge, Batal al-Shari'a, the flag bearer, Hamil al -Lwa, and several others. He was born on the 26th after Hijra, meaning that his brother, Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon him, was 22 at the time of his birth. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, is an individual that the human mind cannot fathom. History has not given us too much about him, but from what we do have, we are able to paint a beautiful picture. My dear viewers, the story of al-Abbas, peace be upon him, begins when his father, the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, went to his brother, Aqil, to ask him to find him a wife that comes from a courageous family of valiant warriors and horsemen. The Imam, peace be upon him, knows by the will of Allah that his son, Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, will face oppression, and so will his daughter Zainab, peace be upon her. Henceforth, the Imam, peace be upon him, is looking for the wife that has been raised by pious, courageous, and valiant warriors. He wants a son to protect the divine command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Imam, peace be upon him, goes to Aqil because Aqil was known to have knowledge of the tribes and their lineages. A great son must come from a great mother. The Imam, peace be upon him, is looking for that mother that will raise Al Abbas, peace be upon him, to be one who understands Imama, means the divine authority and command. The report is as follows. The Imam says to Aqil, find me a wife that has been born amongst the courageous and valiant warriors from the Arabs, so that I may marry her and she will bear for me a child that will be a valiant warrior and a horseman. Aqil said, approach Umm al banin al kilabiya for marriage. For there is no one amongst the Arabian tribes that are known for their courage than her forefathers. The Imam approached Umm al banin peace be upon her, and married her. She bore for him the valiant warrior Al-Abbas, peace be upon him, and after him, Abdullah, Jafar, then Uthman. From the book Umdat al-Talib, page 357. Umm al banin peace be upon her, fulfilled the request of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, and she raised her children under the veil of Imama. The outcome of this beautiful marriage led to four of her children being martyred on the plains of Karbala for the sake of protecting the Imam of their time, Hussein ibn Ali, peace be upon him. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, was raised in the best of households, a household of honor, generosity, humility, knowledge, courage, any excellent characteristic found in humanity can be found in Al-Abbas, peace be upon him. He was raised by his mother, Our Lady Umm al banin peace be upon her, to never call his brother Hussein by his name, but always by Master Sayyidi. This is what makes Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, so special is the fact that he understands the true meaning of Wulaya, which is why when we look towards Karbala, we see a shrine in his name wherein millions of visitors visit him every year, visitors totaling number not seen in history, 23 million and counting in less than 10 days.
Furthermore, the holy infallible Imams of the progeny of the Prophet peace be upon him and his family have praised their uncle Abbas and the best of praises using the most eloquent words. We have a report by Imam Sadiq peace be upon him in which he says, our uncle Al Abbas had a penetrating insight into other matters of this world and hereafter. He was strong and concrete in his belief, means faith. He fought the holy war, jihad, with Abu Abdullah, peace be upon him, and gained grand blessings in his sacrifice and died as a martyr. From the book of Maqtal al Hussein, peace be upon him, Ibn al Mukhannaf, page 176. Abu al Mukhannaf al Azdi says Al Abbas was a courageous and valiant warrior and a horseman. Wide shoulders and tough body. When he rides his horse, his feet touch the ground. Also from the book of Maqtal al Hussein, peace be upon him, Ibn al Mukhannaf, page 176. As you can see from the testimony of Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, the great honor and status that Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, has. The greatest test that befell him was when he was by the Euphrates River and held the cold thirst quenching water in his hand. He could have drank that water, but his belief in Allah and the Imam of his time overcame his desire to drink. He threw the water and said, this is not from my religion. For me to drink cold water when my brother and his women are thirsty. A grand test from Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, and winning this test could be one of the main reasons in which Allah has given him such a high status that those who have a request go to him and ask him, which is why he is known as the door of requests and invocations. The visitors today can all testify that he never leaves one who asks him alone, and this could be because he never left the side of his brother till both of his hands were cut off and his heart was pierced with the lance. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, rejected the offer of safety from the enemy, and this story is well known and narrated. It is reported that when Abdullah ibn Abi Mahal ibn Huzam, who is a cousin to Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, said to him, You and your family from the tribe of Huzam will be in our safety. Will you accept? Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas said, We do not need your safety, for the safety of Allah is more better for us than the safety of the sons of Sumayya. From the book of Tariq al-Tabari, Volume 4, page 314. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, rejected this treacherous offer of this evil man because he knows that truth and honesty lies with his brother Hussein and that he has a status and level waiting for him that cannot be reached unless it is via martyrdom. What brings even more joy in reading about this incident is the incident that follows, in which the cursed man Shimr ibn Dhil Joshan said, O son of my sister Abdullah, Ja'far, Abbas, and Uthman. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, said, Answer him, even though he is Fasiq. Fasiq means corrupt disbeliever, for he is related to you through some of your uncles. They said, what is it that you need? Shimmer said, O oh, sons of my sister, you are in our safety. Do not kill yourselves by fighting with your brother Hussein, and hold your ground by submitting to the commander of the faithful Yazid. Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, said, may your hands perish. May Allah curse the one who sent you with this provision. O enemy of Allah, do you ask us to leave our master and our brother Hussein, son of Fatima, peace be upon her, and go under the command of the cursed tyrant, who is the son of the cursed forefathers? After these words by Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, peace be upon him, 
Ashimr returned to his camp angered by the words uttered by Al Abbas. As you can see, my dear viewers, Abu Al Fadl Al Abbas, peace be upon him, never left the side of his brother Al Hussein ibn Ali, peace be upon him. He stayed by his side until he was slaughtered in Karbala on the 10th of Muharram, on the day known as Ashura. He is buried in Karbala and was buried by his brother's son, Al Imam Al Sajjad, peace be upon him, and his golden dome continues to shine with the radiance of the divine till today. Abbas, who knows Abbas, my dear viewers, no matter what we say, we cannot grasp his status. Henceforth, I will leave you with some words of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, concerning his uncle Al-Abbas. Imam Sajjad has said, May Allah have mercy on my uncle Abbas. He gave all he had and sacrificed himself, his soul for his brother, to the point wherein his hands were cut off, which is why Allah has replaced his hands with two wings, in which he flies with them amongst the angels of paradise, like Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. Furthermore, my uncle Abbas, in the eyes of Allah, has a status and level that the martyrs envy and wish to reach till the day of judgment. From the book of Amal al Saduq, page 548. What radiant and eloquent words uttered by Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, concerning his uncle Abbas. This gives you a picture, and I ask from you, my dear viewers, to paint this picture in your heads. That is all we have for you today, my dear viewers. Until we meet in next episode of Shia Calendar, peace be upon you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.